Hello everyone, it's Sarah here again and we're going to do some Oceanic Reiki just to clear your chakras and show you how we can use natural objects from nature in our healing. So I'll just tell you a little bit about what we've got here. So this is a spider conch. It's come all the way from Trinidad and I use this for people to speak their troubles into. So you can blow any negative energy you have, if any worrying thoughts surface or any pain, just keep blowing it into this shell, which is going to be left here for the duration of the treatment. So these are my tools along here. We're gonna put my dragon here just to guard you. He overlights the treatment, blows out oceanic rainbows, my spirit dragon this is, and cleanses and clears in the same way as the violet flame. I'd like to draw your attention to these shells here and I'd like you to choose a pair to hold. And you would hold it with the cavity towards your hand chakra, okay? These are called turbo shells. These are called primrose conches. And these will help you to, these give you energy. These give you a bit of fight. These are harper shells. These also work if you are self-sacrificing, but they also help you to sing your song. These are lovely, calming river mussels from Siam, and they're just nice and gentle to hold. And we have the tiger cowries, although to me they are more leopard-like, aren't they? These also are for pain relief and creativity. And again, you can hold them like that to drain the negative energy out and then push good energy back in. But you would need to put them down and pick up another pair, which I shall get later. And then these are for balance. These here are votive shells, which arrived yesterday from India. And if you would like to hold those as well, these are the same variant, just different colors, or they've had the colors sanded off. So there's some lovely shells for you to hold and I think now we shall start by placing the chakra shells on. So before we actually start, let's ground ourselves. So I'm going to work down your body like this. I will also at some time send energy up to you as well. So first of all, I'm going to place my hands at your shoulders, which are about there. And I would like you to imagine roots like tree coral growing down out of you. Down, down and down into the ground below you. And they will grow down and down and down. through the rocks and the sand and the soil, pushing deeper and deeper and deeper. I'll go that way as well, into the earth. And we're just going to root those in by using this beautiful stone from Greece that I collect and that's going to be placed right there at your feet. Okay, so we shall now place these chakra shells on and that is an abalone at your crown. A trochus at your third eye. Tana shell at your throat. A true heart 
cockle at your heart. A turban shell at your solar plexus. And a cowrie shell at your sacral. And a limpet at your root. Okay, so now before we start, I'm just going to shake some energy out of you with this beautiful pink sand from Bermuda. Just shake off and blow all of that worry, all of that pain, all of that heartache and anxiety out. Shake it out of your head, out of your mind, out of your throat, out of your heart, out of your solar, out of your sacral and out of your base. Blow into the shell up there and as you're doing that I'm just going to use these razor clams just to cut any cords, any ties not of God's desire, that are in, through, around, about, above, below, within, without, your name and whatever you no longer wish to hold anymore. Maybe you've got an addiction to candy like me. So I'm going to think of that as I'm cutting these cords for myself. You may have something more sinister or you may just have something like a shopping addiction. All of these things can be removed. Okay, so I'll put those down again. And we've grounded, now we shall protect. So I would like you to imagine a spinning disc of light and love moving down towards you from the source. It envelops you and moves all around you, creating that bubble of protection. And I'm just going to add my energy to that to help you now. So I'd like you now just to decide which shells you would like to Imagine holding in your hand the turbo for energy, the primrose for a bit of fight, the harper to sing your song and stop self-sacrificing, the Siamese river muscles to soothe you, the tiger cowries to either remove pain or bring in creativity, and the sea urchins for balance and these turbo shells from India for reverence and devotion if you want to get more closer to your gods and your spirits okay all right so we are now going to douse all of your energy centers does this need a healing yes is this overactive no it's underactive so I'm going to place, these are marker shells for me, but they also bring energy in. So the crown is underactive and that is, a, that is a doubt and a trust thing in the divinity. So I'm going to place a shell pointing in so I know what to do. Then we'll move to the third eye. Does this need a healing? Is this overactive? No, it too is underactive. So... And I'm going to use a very special shell for this. I'll just take it out of my bag. It is called a Japanese wonder shell. And it is just so beautiful that I, I really want to show you and use it actually. I should have got it out. But it is about 20 meters deep. And look at that. Isn't that just fantabulous? When they discovered this, they thought it was deformed. And there is actually a building that is inspired, was inspired by this. So we're going to use that to bring the energy in to you. In fact, we hold it that way. 
because I really want this to help for your psyche. No, I've got that wrong. I need to go it that way. Okay, first. We'll turn that round in a little bit. Okay, now we'll move to your throat. Does this need a healing? Yes. Is this overactive? No. Underactive as well. So we shall bring the energy into that. It's because you're not speaking up for yourself. None of us are really at the moment. And then the heart chakra. Does this need healing? Yes. Is this overactive? No. This is underactive too. So we'll spiral energy into that. And the solar plexus, does this need healing? Yes. Is this overactive? No. Underactive again. Again, we shall spiral energy into that. And the sacral, does this need healing? Yes. Is this overactive? No. So again, we will spiral energy into that. Everybody's a bit underactive today, I think. The collective is. And is the root needing healing? Yes. Is this overactive? No. Okay. So. Right. Okay. So you're holding your shells now. And I'm just going to scan down you now. I'm also going to place my hands on the shoulders again to link in. And we ask for peace, healing and tranquility. We ask for the highest good and harm to none for everybody watching this video. And I am just going to now open some seaweed powder and I'm going to hold this up and I just want you to breathe in and smell the beauty of the sea. Imagine the smell of the sea. Imagine that you're close by to it and just in the back of your mind imagine that you are in a beach. You're standing on a beach somewhere beautiful weather, a beach that you know, or a beach in your imagination, and we're going to do the healing in this sacred space. So before we start, I am just now going to draw in the master symbol. I'm going to draw it for you here, Daikunia. I apologise if you can hear the, the ladies TV next door. She's a little bit deaf. She's in her 90s, so we forgive her. <laughs> Sending that in to you now and drawing it above the crown to overlight this treatment. And I'm drawing the traditional master symbol in and bringing it down your body. Then I'm going to draw in the Nautilus shell. I'm not sure if you can see that here. It's always on my desk. Beautiful Nautilus shell, which is the master shell for Oceanic Reiki. So I'm also going to draw that in. East, south and west. And push that in and draw that all the way down your body. Nautilus, pushing that in. Then we'll draw the distance healing symbol, which is the traditional Reiki symbol. Honsha se sho Honsha se sho Honsha se sho Draw this way. Oh, not very good with my left hand. Okay, pushing that in. Then we'll draw the big clearance symbol, the Seihei Ki. And I'll draw that 
draw that for you. Say a key and a choker ray while I'm here. And a choker ray. Okay, all right, so we're going to start now. So I would like you just to imagine you are standing on your beach and in front of you are these beautiful chakra shells. And you're just looking at them. You're either standing or sitting, it's up to you. And they're in a line in front of you like this. And we're just going to start clearing away from the auric field with this abalone shell. And as I clear, I'm also going to place some symbols, some master symbol for you there. The distance healing symbol. I have actually drawn these symbols on stones. Whoops. Perhaps it's better if I look at what I'm doing. Just clearing down your body now. Okay, clearing, brushing down the arms and clearing it all the way down into this stone at the bottom of you. Okay, so I'm actually still got Reiki coming out of this hand. It filters around the shell and through and using the other hand as a steadying. So we are just going to use this beautiful abalone shell. Look at the white and the rainbows in it. This is my highest vibrational abalone for holding in my hand. So I'm literally going to, we're going to shine the light in and just feel that working in your mind now, just clearing it and, and letting the light and the trust of the God, the Brahman, the Yahweh, Great Spirit, whatever you think of the Creator's light to be. And we're just going to really shine that in and spiral that down now. Okay. And I'm going to quickly just do hold that up so that you can see it. And I spiral it in. This is a shell that can suck negative energy out because it works on a vortex and place the light frequencies back in. To shine that to you to help bring trust in the world, in God, in spirit, and also in yourself. Okay. So we reach for our pendulum, and is this clear and balanced? Yes. Okay. Fantastic. Now we're going to move down to the third eye, which is this trochus shell. So, I'm actually just going to clear the fuzz away from this, and I'm just pulling that now. And clearing the stuff that we're clearing, imagine it as dusty chi that has settled. It sort of can feel a bit like chewing gum, okay, or molasses is a good expression of it. Some people call it plasma, but others disagree with that phrase. So we, we call it stale chi, dusty chi, and we're just pulling that out now. And I'm just going to pull that again out of you. So, and the shell spirals that way. So we're just going to turn as I pull and flick it away. And turn as I pull and flick it away. And turn again as I pull and flick it away. Okay. Right. And 
And I really would like to try this shell out. I haven't really tried it. So let's try it on you. So this is one of the shells I, I hardly ever pick up because it's so delicate and so expensive. So it spirals this way round. So I'm just going to bring that in now in small circles. spiraling the energy of the universe and the multiverse to help with your intuition and your knowledge and your discernment. Just feel that. Okay. And I will also send Reiki with one hand and work on the chakra stone and the representation of your body with the other and perhaps imagine that you're floating on your back in your inner cove now looking up at a deep night sky in the shallows imagine all that translucent plankton shiny out as it reproduces around you under the full moon and the deep dark night indigo light shining down into your third eye and if you notice any of the stars or planets above you you can also absorb their energy into that third eye okay let's have a look is this balance now yes it is okay so i'm just going to pick some Reiki symbols out for the two that we have done now. Wait for one to stick in my hand. Ah, and we have we have dolphin energy. So bring some happiness and play into your mind. You're being a bit too serious lately, perhaps. So I'm just going to pop that there between those two chakras. And now we're going to move down to the throat, which was under active. So again, picking up a different shell, different abalone shell this time. I have hundreds. And we'll just clear, clear out the stuck, stale, dusty chi. Anything that you could not say, when you couldn't voice your concerns, voice your anger, voice your upset. We're just going to clear that away now and clear it and then bring the light in so that you can work your light. Just pulling that stuck chi out. And I really need to work with a more gentle stone here, uh, shell here. So I'm actually going to pick up this river mussel. And I'm just going to show that to you. And I've chosen this particular one. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of blues and purples around here. And I really want to shine that in. We also have golden energy and gentle nurturing energy. So I'm just going to hold that up to yours. I feel it needs a bit of soothing. Just imagine this gentle fresh water energy washing through your throat chakra okay and i'm going to use the other one to shine it down into your throat okay and in oceanic reiki when we learn about this shell we actually bring in the energy of the water nymphs from greece and they will now be with you at your beach and you can imagine them pouring water down you. Pouring water over you, washing you ritually, cleansing, clearing and aligning you. Helping you to 
speak your truth. Okay. Let's see. Is this clear and balanced now? Yes, great. Okay. Do we need do we need a symbol for it? No. Okay. Do I need to soothe this chakra now as well? Okay, so I'm going to soothe this chakra with a piece of fossilized star coral. And I'm just going to rub yours gently there. And we're going to place that next to the shell just for some soothing. So we've worked with those now. Let's remove those. Okay. All right. So down to the heart, which was also under active. So I'm going to draw in, first of all, the true heart cockle. And then the chakra. Okay. We'll draw it into there as well. True heart cockle. And this was a shell that sailors would give to their sweethearts upon leaving or upon returning and Valentine's Day. A little keepsake for them. Okay. So I'm actually going to use this shell to pull out some of the upset and past hurt. And we actually pull the pain and the stale chi into this carry shell and it will be heavier afterwards. So I'm just going to hold this close there and pull the heartache out. Don't follow the thought. You know what I'm talking about. Just recognize it. And let me clear it. I'm also going to cut some more ties as we do that. And then I'm going to imagine that I am dipping this like a sword into a fire. This shell that I'm holding it over is a red abalone and it has sun energy. And I'm going to just quarterize what I what I snipped, so it doesn't grow back. Pulling that pain out, and quarterizing the wounds. Okay. Now I'm just going to pull that out of you, just in case we didn't get it all. Give it to the shell. The heartache, the emotional upset to the shell. Grief is a different thing. It takes its own time. We can't give it away because we need to process it. especially the grief of the passing of someone. Okay. So I'm just going to use the other side of this false egg carry and I'm just going to rub that on the heart. And if you have been holding these, or these, I would now like you to imagine putting them down and choosing another set, because they will be full up of the drained out chi that has been drawn out of your arm, so they'll be heavy now and won't work if you've been holding them. Okay, so we we'll now remove that one too, because that's been done. And I'm just leaving this for a little bit longer to send energy in as I work on the lower shell here. And I'm actually going to pick up a big one to work on your body with on my, from my shelf. Okay, so this is the solar plexus 
And it is most often underactive, especially at the moment because we can't do things. So I'm just going to again sweep the chi, pull it out. With that, you can also use a shell with a big cavity to pull things out. Nice big cavity on this melon shell. It's not as strong, but it does work the same. I'm just showing you that you can use virtually any shell you have for healing. Okay. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna spiral energy in. And we have already got a small Tobo shell working there, but I'm going to use this wand now. Okay, so this is a mitre shell because it's like a bishop's mitre. If somebody picked this out in a contramancy reading, which is a seashell reading, I would ask them if they are doubting their spirituality. But I use this as a wand, so it brings energy in here and points it out. Okay. So we're going to spiral that energy in. So you're thinking about a nice sunny day. The light has now changed in your beach and it is sun and you are being shone down on by a bright high noon sun. Okay, so just absorb that energy into your solar plexus. Pushing it right in there, let it fill the dark spaces. All of those comments at the school playground at recess any bullying at work or from family, anything that dented your confidence. Let the light burn through it and disintegrate it. And then I am now going to send really strong energy to that. I just realized we didn't choose a symbol for the heart, so we'll do that in a second as well. So I'm just going to take over with one hand. Ask my pendulum, does the heart need a symbol? Yes, okay. So, run it around. I've painted all of these Reiki symbols onto pebbles from my local beach. Rummage. Oh, I've got two. Okay, we have the sea nymph's harp to bring a bit of joy and soothing into. And we have a roaming albatross. So perhaps spend a little time by yourself to process things and learn to like being by yourself. I love it. I absolutely love it. I can do whatever I want to do and no one gets in the way. So learn to like yourself, learn to do some hobbies and bring the joy of the sea nymphs and their soothing music to you. Okay, so I'm just going to carry on with the solar plexus and I'm just going to spiral the light from this turban shell into you. So I'm following the way the shell is. And even if you feel it anti-clockwise, know that I am working clockwise. And we ask the guys to just translate that. Okay, now I'm going to draw the turbo symbol into you to last. And it's the third chakra up, so I draw three dots on it. And then the choker. Okay, and I'm going to pop that here so that you can keep an eye on it and look at it. Look at that wonderful shell. Okay. All right, so.
So do we need to choose a symbol for the solar plexus? Yes, we do. Okay. So we'll now remove that because it's done. Okay, so more rummaging around. And that one is making it okay. This is shark. Face your fears. So if you do fear being alone, face it. Deal with it. Try and make steps to change that so that in the long run you have the freedom to do what you want to do confidently. So I'm going to put that right there. Shark swimming. Okay. Now we're going to move down to this energy center now. And I'm going to grab some other calories. So we're going to pull the stuck chi out and I'm actually going to use, and any stomach pains, stomach cramps, lower back issues, so I'm just going to pull that out. Just pull that out. And Well done, release it, release it. Again, I can feel some ties there, so I'm gonna pick up my trusty razor clam, cauterize it in the fire shell, the sun shell. And then I'm just gonna cut those cords and cauterize it. Okay, just singe it. Great, well done. Scan it now. I'm also going to draw the abalone symbol over it. Earth, air, fire, water, spirit. Push that in. And the chicory. Earth, air. And chokre. Pushing that up as well. Great. Okay. And then again, we can soothe that. I feel it needs soothing, so I'm going to use this beautiful Caribbean calcite. Just soothing your sacral. I'll bring that in close to you so you can feel that energy and there's the beach and there's the sea isn't it wonderful it's come from Pakistan so probably foothills of the Himalayas somewhere okay or the Kush right so we're going to place that by this shell to soothe it and I'm just going to ask the pendulum if I can find it if we need to do another, I've put that one down and can't find it, so I'll pull one of my others out. Do we need to do a symbol for the stone? Yes, okay. Shake the stone. Okay, let's have a run it. That one. Okay, chokere symbol has come out for that. So we'll place that there. And I will draw that in again. Chokere. 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 Fantastic. We'll remove that. Okay, and finally we are at the root chakra 
and I'm going to use this was also underactive and I'm going to use a limpet to siphon off energy siphon off that stale chi I don't know why I used the word siphon I just sort of pull this limpet stick onto things don't they so the chi will stick onto this and sometimes I can even see it like black smoke as it's removed. I'm not getting that today because I'm not as deeply psychic as I am when I'm talking to you guys. So I'm going to do that on you as well so you can feel this. Just siphoning around your roots. Just siphoning it, let it stick to the inside of this beautiful shell that I collected from a place in southern England. Okay, a marina where the boats are and where there's rocks. All animals were gone when I found it. Okay. All right. Gently sweep that away and then we're going to refill it. Ah, to... oh, here's the pendulum. Does this need a symbol? Yes, okay. And you have the palm master symbol for this, very unusual. So this is actually a master symbol. So I'm going to pop that there, unsure why it's coming for here, but we'll go with it because Spirit's given it to us. So I would like you, ah, okay, they're telling me this energy center at your root is for your work, your career, your home life, your bills, it's your survival center. And you quite often need to use your hands and your creativity for your work, don't you? So I'd like you just to place your palms like that up to the screen. And I am now going to draw that in to both palms on you. So, a little circle. Upside down moon. I'm pushing that in now for your creativity, for your job, for your work, for your abundance. Okay, great. And breathe out. Okay. Has this now balanced? Yes. Okay. Is this balanced? Is this balanced? Yes. Is this balanced? 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 Yes, fantastic. Okay. So now we're just going to brush you down just with some cleansing water from the power shells. Just Sweeping down your body and your arms and legs. Just in case we haven't moved everything. And then I would just like you to put your arms out for me. And I'm just going to brush down your arms. From your shoulders down to your wrists and again wonderful wonderful and in your mind's eye now I'd like you to imagine that you are exiting the water just look up your beach for your towel or a hammock and go and lie upon it and dry yourself in the sun and I'm just going to shine this 
master abalone shell, red abalone, the first shell that ever blessed me with feeling chi. And I'm just going to shine this down the chat. three times on here and then I'm just going to hold it up here for you shine that down. And as we get to the end of this visualization, I'd just like you to reground yourself and feel the sun shining on you from this beautiful shell. And just grow roots like tree coral either out of your waist or your shoulders down into the ground below you. I'm going to place my hands upon your shoulders here and just feel that grounding and that heaviness of the weight there. And breathe out. Thank you for watching this, especially if you've watched it all the way through. I know it's long, but I hope you enjoyed me being able to show you how I use some of the shells. I have many more that I have not been able to show you. So bye-bye, be safe, and I'll see you next time. Love and light, people, love and light.